You know what's awesome? Getting new gear, like this cool new touch screen. There's only one problem. What do you do with your old stuff? Throw it in the garbage? Yeah, no, I don't think so. We've got enough of that already. In fact, we've got too much. If you took the garbage from one average Ontario household for a year and stacked it in garbage cans, how high do you think it would be? Well, let's put it this way. It would almost be as high as the CN Tower. And I'm not just talking about your old computers and MP3 players and video games. Think of all the other stuff that gets thrown out every year. The uncool part is that over 80% of your garbage could be recycled or composted instead of being tossed away. That means for every five garbage bags tossed out, four could have been recycled or composted. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? So what can you do about it? Well, hey, that's easy. Start recycling. But I already recycle, you're saying. Oh, really? Then maybe you need to recycle more. And that's not all. You could also reduce and reuse too. That would make things even better. So let's see what we've got. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Well, hey, it's those three R's that everybody used to talk about. Remember them? <laughs> well, gang, it turns out that they're bigger than ever. So why not get in on the action? Do you still buy water bottles? Well, stop. Get your own cool refillable bottle instead. You'll help the environment and you'll save a ton of money too. Take a reusable bag to the grocery store instead of buying yet another plastic bag. And get your parents to buy fresh food instead of pre-packaged. It's healthier and tastier. And who needs all those extra chemicals, right? That's three simple ways to reduce your waste. And there are lots more. So how about reusing stuff? Well, we already told you about reusing water bottles and shopping bags. Well, that's a great start. What else can you do? If you're tired of your old clothes or they just don't fit anymore, well, give them away. There are lots of people who could use them and plenty of charities will come right to your house to pick them up. And think of all the room you'll save in your closet for your new clothes. <laughs> oh yeah. The same thing goes for your old books, CDs, toys, and electronics. Why toss them out when somebody could be using them? And you know how your parents are always bugging you to clean your bedroom? Well, problem solved. Finally, the big one, recycling. We all know about the blue boxes, right? Look at all the stuff you can cram in there. Juice boxes, pop cans, or old shampoo bottles, all kinds of food packaging, magazines, notebooks, pizza boxes, and tons more. Sounds easy, right? But sometimes we forget. Take pop cans. Only about half of all aluminum cans get recycled. That means that the rest are being wasted and miss out on being recycled into new cans. And it doesn't stop with the blue box. There are lots of other things that can be recycled too, like your old computer, TV set, MP3 player, and cell phone. There's probably an electronic recycling depot right near your house, so check it out. And recycling doesn't stop at home. How about when you're at the mall, the school cafeteria, or even the movies? Chances are you can recycle there too. Just look for the signs. So what happens to all the stuff that's recycled? Well, all kinds of amazing things. Plastics can become car parts, building materials, even fleece shirts. Paper products turn into different paper products, using less trees. And if you recycle a glass bottle, guess what it becomes? A new glass bottle. Hey, recycling really does make a difference. And if you don't recycle that glass bottle, it could take up to one million years to break down. One million years. The bottom line is that the more we reduce, reuse, and recycle, the less waste we create. And that's good for everybody. There are lots of easy ways to help reduce the waste we create. And we can all do our part. But maybe you're thinking, I'm just one person. What difference can I make? Well, the fact is, you can make a huge difference. The average person creates over two kilograms of waste every day. That's over three quarters of a ton per year. And over 80% of that could be reused, recycled, or composted instead. That means you alone, yes you, 
could prevent the disposal of over half a ton of garbage every year. So, yeah, one person really can make a huge difference. And if you get a friend to help out, that's preventing over one ton of garbage from being created. And it just keeps adding up. There's another piece of good news for York Region. After we've reused, recycled, and composted everything we can, the leftover garbage can be converted into energy. And this energy can be used to power our houses or local businesses. Those are just a few of the things that you can do to make a difference. But there are lots more. Check us out online for a bunch of other really cool ideas. Do your part. Reduce, reuse, and recycle.